There's a feature in Zoho CRM called cadences. It is used to streamline your follow-up process. This is gold. If you don't know already, I am about to show you exactly where to find it and how to use it. But first, subscribe to our channel if you haven't, and feel free to join our Zoho community at SuccessfulSolutions.com slash connect. All right, so if you go to Zoho or if you just search for Zoho Cadences, you'll find that they did. They built a customer follow-up automation within Zoho CRM called Cadences, and it can target a certain audience you can do multiple channels, but you can also schedule a call, a meeting, or set up a task within the process. So what we're gonna do today is we're going to do this for leads, and we're gonna create a cadence for our new leads, all right? Uh, I'm in the CRM right now, and if you go under settings and automation, you will find cadences. It has three little stars here indicating that it's a new feature. Um, not sure how new or when they added it, but fairly new. So we're gonna click on cadences here. I have two that are here already. Um, I'm just gonna show you what this one looked like before I deactivated it. When you click on it, you can see it gives you up to five different follow-ups that you can set up. The first one is an email that goes out immediately after they are added into the system as a lead. Then it uses this email template and it's from this email address and reply to this email address. So you can set up two different emails for that if you need to. The second follow-up is three days after that email is sent and it will send a different email and then the third one, four days after. So you can set this up however you need to, whatever your follow-up process is or you would like for it to be, um, you can set that up here. After it has run uh, or ran, excuse me, you can um, go to view reports and see those analytics. As you can see here, it went out to 26 leads. Now these are all fake um, email addresses that I use in this system. So a lot of them just kind of bounced, but <laughs> we have 16 that, or excuse me, 26 that were sent, two that failed, seven that were open. You can see the percentages up here at the top. This is for the email. If we had any tasks in, within this that were, um, created, you would see those here. And then same thing for calls. So I didn't have anything on those. I just had some emails that I sent out. And then you can click here to actually see how the funnel worked. Follow up email one went out. This is how many emails it went out and then how many were opened and bounced. And then follow up two, haven't, it hasn't gone out. It was supposed to be for like three days later. But you can see it will give you the entire process here. We can go back to the cadence by clicking here. And now let's create our own, all right? I am gonna start a new one. I'm gonna call it New Leads. You can do this for any module. Um, right here, we have leads, contacts, accounts, deals, just whatever, whichever module you need to create a follow-up process for, you can do that. We're gonna stick to leads for this example. And you can also base it on a custom view. You know how in leads or in the CRM, you can create views for leads, accounts, contacts. Well, you can choose one of your custom views in order to only apply this to that target audience. So let's just use VIP list for this one. This will allow you to enroll new records when they are added to this view. So right now, it would run through everyone who's currently in this list. Actually, I don't want to use this list. Oh, yes, I do. This is my demo. Um, we're going to enroll any new records as well. So if anyone is added later, they will still go through this. And then when they meet the custom view criteria, not we don't necessarily in this case need to do it a few hours or a few days or a few weeks later. All right, 
Now we can add our first follow-up. It's gonna be an email. We can do this immediately after they are added into that view or captured by that view, or we can do it minutes or hours or days, months later. You can also set it to business hours and business days, which is amazing. This is going to go to the main email address in the leads module. We have the option of doing the main email or the second or both. We're gonna click on the main email. And then the template we're gonna use is gonna be lead email one. You will go ahead and create your templates first. So make sure you have created your email templates in the CRM and that will be under settings customization templates your email templates are here you can create a new one here and these are very basic I just put one line in here so that we can know what's what for the example so you select your email where you want it to come from and if they reply, where do you want the reply to go? We're gonna keep the same email in both of those instances. Now, follow up two, I would like to send another email, but let's do that one three business days later. And that's after the previous email has been, and we can do open, bounce, reply, click, sent. We're gonna do sent just in case they didn't open the first email. And again, the lead email. The template is going to be email two. We can do another like task or email or call within the same second phase of follow-up. And we're gonna do on the same, actually let's do four business days after the previous email was, oh, we can't do that again. Hmm. Oh, we can say if once it's been clicked, <clears throat> excuse me, then maybe we will set up a task to call them. I am gonna click on the hashtag in order to plug in their name. Do we have the full name in here? do lead name so let's do follow-up call and we want to trigger that immediately so I'm just gonna put a zero here for days and then the status this is just the status of the task it's gonna start with not start it and that's okay we'll leave it right there and then the high priority, we can leave it at that or change it to normal, just whatever it is that is best for, for your um, situation. And then assigned to, we, we can assign this to any user or we cannot assign it and it'll be automatically assigned to the record owner. So whoever owns the record will be the person that gets the task. You can not choose to notify the person that it's assigned to, remind the person that it's assigned to, set up the reminder, and then you can add a description. So now in that second stage, it will send an email, but then if it's clicked, if that first email is clicked, then it will also have someone set up a follow-up call. We're gonna do another email and we're gonna do this one four business days after the previous email, follow up to his email was sent. And we're gonna use email three. All right, so as you can see, this can go on and on. If we wanted to create another follow up off of this one once they've clicked inside of this email. If there's another task you'd like to do, like the call, we can set that up. The call owner will be the person that's logged in. The call purpose, we can just 
choose what we have here. And is this a test? All right, so we're going to save that. Now, once we're done, we publish. Now, when you publish, it is going to send the emails to all of the leads that are currently in the list that I chose. So let's take a look at what's there. It's just me. Okay. So when we publish, after a moment, we should be able to see the analytics on this. All right. It was sent to one so far. Nothing else has happened that nothing is going to happen on these two just yet because we set them for three and four days out. Okay. So that is it guys. It's a very useful tool. We all need to make sure we have a great follow-up process and this makes it easy to do. So if you have any questions, drop it in the comments. I'll be more than happy to help you. All right. Bye.